at the right time this evening, 55 minutes uh, weather wise. Pretty... You enjoying the ice cream? Thank you. <laughs> Hello darling Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome to today's video A new vlog, we are off on holiday So this vlog is going to be a family holiday vlog It's our first holiday this year as a family which I'm really excited for It's actually my birthday today as well um, so it's kind of like a bit of a birthday getaway family staycation. Um, it's actually getting on. I think it's about five o'clock. I will slight put a bit of context into this. So we're going to Cornwall. Um, David is actually based in Somerset for work. So I'm flying down to Bristol with the kids. So glad it's a short flight because it's the first time I'm flying on my own with them both. Oliver hasn't been on a plane in ages. Isabel's never been on a plane. So it's going to go one of two ways. Amazing or absolute carnage so wish me luck on that so i'm flying down to bristol david's gonna pick us up and then i think it's about 45 minutes or so um like to where obviously he lives while he's at work and then from there the next morning so it'll be like tomorrow which is wednesday is the day we actually go down to carmel for the rest of the week it is a late flight that's the only thing it's like a 25 past nine flight um so i'm not too sure whether the kids are going to be cranky or not like I say, it could go one or two ways. I'm kind of hoping they just sleep on the plane and it's smooth sailing, but we'll see. So if you're into vlogs, family life, mum life, all that kind of jazz, family days out, then keep watching. Before I actually go, I'll do a quick OTD. So I actually just got this. It's the Adenola Olive, I think it's green olive uh, hoodie, and then the matching leggings. And then I've got my Nike socks on and my New Balance are they five five 30s in the gray i think i'm gonna wear my zara leather jacket as well over the top because i actually want to take that and there's no room, room in my suitcase so i'm just gonna pop that on so yeah i will see you guys at the airport you ready to go on holiday big man yeah, yeah. you say you don't want to get in trouble that you don't find because you got me I don't wanna break your little bubble, but you gotta wake up to reality. Cause I can see you. That's the right time this evening, 55 minutes. Yeah, we're alive. It's a good night here. Well, this is playing the first one. Tears are a proof of failure. You just gotta let them flow without judge. There's so many ways to be happy. we're finally here it is the next day we got back um our flight got delayed we landed at like 11 so we're back like a lot later than what we thought um and then we've just obviously traveled today so i haven't really obviously vlogged much at all today you'll have seen we've done some driving we went to get some food shopping david's just bringing more stuff in from the car the weather is not our friend today so i thought i'd let him do that uh, joyful job of getting everything out of the car um but yeah we're finally here our little lodge our cottage I'd say more cottage, actually, not a lodge. There's one down there. It's actually gorgeous. Um, but yeah, we're just going to get unpacked, get everything sorted, and then I'll give you a little tour. Um, but it's so lovely. I I mean, the flight was absolutely fine, like slow, solo-wise, the two kids. The kids were fine. They were great. However, I needed an extra pair of hands. It was awful. My arms were burning by the end. Two bags, two kids, a push chair, and only one of me. Yeah, I could have done with an extra pair of hands. But other than that, it was okay. Um, I was just very glad to see David at the other end and, like, load half of the stuff off that I was carrying to him. Uh, but, yeah, Oliver fell asleep halfway through the flight. Isabel fell asleep 
10 minutes before, like on landing, on landing, she managed to fight sleep throughout the airport, throughout the fight until like the final 10 minutes when we were landing, typically. Um, but no, it was all okay, I survived. And yeah, I'm gonna get everything unpacked, get it all sorted, and then I'll give you a little tour of where we're actually staying. A little bit of a quick kind of a tour of where we're actually staying. Yes, I'm in the same clothes I had on yesterday. Please don't judge me, they're comfy. So this is kind of our bedroom, mine and David's. We've got the travel cot there. Super cute little window where you can actually sit and stuff. And then, <laughs> and then we've got a little kind of ensuite here with a toilet and then a little shower here. And then through here, into here is our bathroom it's like the main bathroom got a little bath there uh, and then i guess in your room got oliver's room here which he's really excited about yeah. <laughs> and then through here but first how cute is this little hallway and like the beams no. in the ceiling are so nice yeah and then through here is like the kitchen living room yeah so in here is like the sitting room, living room, whatever you want to call it. We've got a log burner, telly, and then a really cute cozy corner in there. Like how adorable is this? And like the views. And then we have, do have like a bit of an outside patio kind of picnic-y area. And then this is the kitchen. Um, When we came in, there's like a homemade lemon drizzle cake waiting for us, which was so nice. We've already tucked into that, as you can see. Um, and then, yeah, this is the kitchen. It's super cute. And then, yeah, we do have a pool outside. So there's a little patio area. And that is our pool down there, um, which I'll show you soon. And I think the games room is, like, just offset to it. So, yeah, this is where we're staying. So this is, like, the games room slash pool that we have. It's, like, obviously a separate building. Um, I didn't realise there was much as what there was. There's a little pool table i think up there some like soft player and stuff around here for the kids and this is just the pool bit here and it's got a lovely view and everything as well um so yeah it's super nice good morning guys so it's day one well or oh, like full day one i'd say so we're off out to the eden project today we're all ready we're just um david's putting oliver and that in the car and i've got this one she's ready for a nap we're hoping it's not gonna rain the clouds outside currently don't look like they're gonna be our friends but it's like a 45 minute drive away anyway so we're kind of hoping it'll be quite nice there because most of it is outdoors um and then we're gonna go to a place called Lou after that and just have a little bit of a wander around there um i'll show you my little outfit of the day i'll just flip the camera around so this is my outfit my trench coat is from new look my stripy top is from h&m my leggings are from an instagram brand called love leggings and i've got my new new balances on and then isabel's is from george Esther. oh uh, yeah so we are gonna go and i will catch you guys in a bit Bye.
now in lieu. Um, the Eden Project was fun, tantrums and all. Uh, to be fair, the, he was actually, both the kids were so good all the way until the end. Uh, and I think Oliver just got a little bit too tired from walking around and yeah, it was next level. But we survived it, we plodded along, he's had a sleep, I think he's still asleep actually. Yeah, he's still sleeping, bless him. He slept all the way here, so hopefully he, when he wakes up, he'll uh, be in a better mood. Um, but yeah, we've shook it off. We've come to Lou, and we're gonna have a little walk around here. I think it's like it's like a fishing village, which are ones that I absolutely love when I come to Carmel. They're just the nicest like places to go. They're like very quirky and like small streets, cobbles, that kind of thing. Um, and it's really nice down here. I have been here when I was a kid, so I'm excited to do all these little things with my little ones as well. It's very like. Nost is nostalgic is that the right kind of term that i'm thinking of anyway so that's what we're doing now david's just gone to pay for parking and yeah i'll just get some clips of obviously where we are and what we're doing and then after that because it is getting like i think it's like four o'clock now so obviously we'll have just probably have dinner here and then once we're finished here we'll just be going straight back to um our cottage and fingers crossed the pool is warm so we went actually did got the pool last night it was freezing so i had a word with the lady to try and kind of up the thermostat to see if it could be warmer so fingers crossed it's warmer tonight and we can actually go in it and um, but yeah that is the plan for the rest of today I'm trying to drop my phone here, it's currently killing me. Hi <laughs> guys! <laughs> oh, she can walk down. No, she can walk Oh, you can see, no. there's like a walkway. It's like a So, Oliver wouldn't actually. Wake up, so we improvised and popped him in the stroller. Popped his in the carrier. Are you coming, darling? Are we gonna go to the pool? Hello, hello. <laughs> I like him. Uh huh. Are you excited for the pool? Yeah. Oh, that's Kick. Oh, that's, that's it. Hi guys, so it's now Friday and um, we're actually going to stay, Thursday. the cottage is actually free for another night so we've extended our stay and we're going to stay another night and go home Sunday. We are at, so we went in the pool and everything this morning which you'll have seen Ooh. and we're now at, I feel like I'm pronouncing this wrong, Tintagil, Tintagil um, and we're going to go up to the castle, it's like a a ruins and stuff there's a really big bridge and stuff there we're gonna have a walk up to the castle and then probably come back to like the town and have a little bit of a wander around the town um but yeah that is the plan for today and then it is quite late on like we've got out a lot later than we thought it's like two o'clock i think so probably once we've done that and what had a wander around the town we'll probably just we need to head to like a supermarket somewhere we'll probably just head back to our cottage after that because it'll be getting quite late uh, but yeah, that is the plan for today.
Tesco's uh, we had to go and grab like bits like we ran out of like a few bits and pieces and then obviously got some snacks and stuff for later on tonight um so after we went to i don't know how to pronounce it i'm really sorry tintagel castle we went which was lovely by the way however it was so windy i really just did not think um i didn't bring a bobble or anything um and i felt like i had the wrong attire on in terms of clothing because it's like a bit of a trail walk up until you get to the castle but never mind i had a whinge we got over it so like it was just it was so lovely the views and everything were amazing which you'll have seen um so once we went there we went along to, we had a bit of food afterwards and then we went along to port isaac which we literally just drove through the kids actually fell asleep so we just drove through port isaac and went to like another little covey beach and pulled up it was super windy still there and like i said they were asleep so we never actually got out I ran to an ice cream shop, got an ice cream, slightly disappointed, it really wasn't that nice and I shouldn't be even eating ice cream, I have a tolerance to milk, so I was just, it was not worth getting a bad tummy, so I'd never ate it, David ate mine, um, so that was a little depressing because I was actually wanting an ice cream, but I sidestepped getting a bad tummy. In terms of tonight, we're literally just going back to the house, having a bit of a chill, having some snacks and just kind of getting cosy really. Um, oh, I'm getting very... Getting into bed and getting nice and cosy. Yeah, getting into bed and getting nice and cosy. So that and is the plan. Snacks. And having snacks. What snacks are you going to have? And what we just got. What we just got, right. And what did you get? Flakes. Flakes. Oh, you're me. So that is the plan for this evening. And lollipop. Are you excited? Yeah! Where are we, what are we going on? Tree! Yay! Hi guys, so it's our last day um, and we have come to a place called Lapa Valley in Newquay um, and then once we finish there we're actually going to go in to Newquay itself but we get to go on like a little train into I'm assuming the actual place which is quite fun um, but yeah I'm excited to have a little walk around here. I came here when I was a kid so it's now quite cool that I get to come back with my Yeah. Yeah sometimes I Right. Well that's fine. everything away ready to go home it's just not that fun hi guys so we're on our way home i'm currently sat in oliver's car seat <laughs> feeding isabel um david's just gone in he's waiting in the queue to get some food we get to mcdonald's um since so our like first stop i kind of hope not to stop anymore in an ideal world 
we haven't done so bad actually so far um but anyway yeah so we have come to the end obviously if you haven't already tell of our hi of our little staycation we're on our way home we've had a really nice time uh, obviously yesterday which you will have seen hello yesterday you'll have seen we went obviously to Lapa Valley first and then we popped into Newquay afterwards and went for some food and then went on to the beach ran into my mum and her friend which talk about a small world I mean they are down here so it was kind of possible to happen I guess um, but no we had a really lovely time keeping it real Oliver had another major tantrum before we left the house yesterday morning um, he's been really difficult at the moment but obviously you're on holiday you don't want to just have a bad mood so you just push on and try and obviously get him out of it and then make him smile and then he's laughing we're laughing and we're having a good time but it has been it's been hard especially when you're on holiday because it's the last thing you want to do but all kids go through it it's a stage we know it but tantrums aside we've had an absolute lovely time away and some much needed family time it has been really nice and i haven't been in Cornwall in six years oh no three years now yeah because me and oliver came a couple of years ago a couple of years ago anyway i haven't been in Cornwall in a while so it was nice to come back but i hope this vlog was actually what what she's not really wanting the milk hello milk mouth hello you don't want it you will want it though when we set off, won't you? Um, but anyway, I hope you've actually enjoyed watching. I hope it's not been too boring. I tried to get as like a footage of us doing things as opposed to me like chatting too much. Because obviously that's the whole point in it, isn't it? You seeing like what we're actually doing. So I hope it hasn't been boring and I hope you've enjoyed watching. And I mean, I don't know if anybody ever gets to the end of my blog vlogs, but if you've got to the end of my vlog, then wow, thank you so much. And yeah, I'm going to bring this vlog to a close, guys. And I really do hope to see you in my next video. And wish us luck for the rest of this journey and hope it goes smoothly. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.